the story of Fred Hampton, deputy chairman of the National Black Panther Party who was assassinated in 1969 by a Cook County tactical unit on the orders of the FBI and Chicago Police Department. How's it going guys? Welcome back into another video and today, today is another review and it is another Sundance review. We are not done. We've got plenty more Sundance content coming even though the festival has officially ended. We've got plenty more content coming with you guys for Sundance 2021. But today we are talking about a movie that not only was one of my most, if not my most anticipated of the festival, but it was one of my most anticipated of this year. We are talking about Judas and the Black Messiah. So I think without further ado, we're not going to dilly-dally, let's just hop right into it. I mean, the first ultimate thing that I have to say about this film is Daniel Kaluuya. His time has come. Uh, he, As Fred Hampton, he is absolutely fantastic in this role. I mean, he is like, it's just, it's a stunning piece of acting from, from him. I mean, he... he, he can it feels like he can lead a revolution and and there's scenes there's monologues that he gives um behind closed doors but then also the big speeches that he gives in front of large crowds are all impactful and powerful the best parts of this film are daniel kaluuya up on a stage talking like those are the best parts of this film and he is absolutely fantastic i think i think it's a consensus with most people that this is his oscar to lose um you know, unless it, another actor makes a surge at the end, which from everything I've heard is not going to happen, but it's it's his time. It has to be. I mean, I would say differently if Mass was up for Oscars, but I don't think that's going to be out until next circuit, like next year's circuit. So, I mean, Daniel Kaluuya, it's your time. He was absolutely fantastic. And, uh, you know, further than that, it's the supporting performances. I mean, Lakeith Stanfield sh keeps continues to show that he is one of the best actors out there right now. He's absolutely fantastic in this film. There are a few times where, you know, I was like, oh, he's not a very likable character, but that's, that's the character. It's not Lakeith. Like, he makes this character, you know, be a bit of a kind of secretive you know ooh, we might not like him what's his story kind of character and that's that's the thing in this film that i like so much is that we see our our our, our main character bill played by lakeith stanfield he's the person we're really following throughout the film um and we're like do we like him or do we not like you know we think he's gonna go one way and then he does something else and then we think he is on one side and then maybe he's on the other side um and really in the end it, it just comes down to survival I, I mean, what would you do to survive and that's what his character did survive um and that you know looking back now you know that makes a lot of sense for a lot of the decisions he made survival um but I, I, you know, I think the performance from Lakeith is, is fantastic. I, I don't, I don't think it'll be up for any any Oscar nom, noms, unfortunately, because Daniel Kaluuya is just so good that he's doesn't. I don't, I don't want to say overshadowing because, like Lakeith, you know, he's good. I don't think it's an Oscar worthy performance. Um, but I mean, uh, Daniel Kaluuya's performance is just so polarizing in a good way um, that I just, whenever he was on screen, I could not look off screen i could it was it was fantastic um the direction from shaka king is is great it, it's it's poignant it's pungent it packs a punch when it needs to it takes you know a breather when it needs to um and it flows really well the, the film flows well there, there's some points in the middle of the film where where you know i feel like it, it drags a little bit um, and that's kind of the only criticism I have, and I'll just get into that right now. I mean, there's some points in the middle of the film where I feel like it dragged a little bit, um, but that's just, a lot of that is just for plot and for story, and I get that. So, you know, I didn't knock it too much for that at all. Um, you know, I still really, really enjoyed the film. But the rest of the film, you know, once it hits its stride at the end, it gets going, and it doesn't stop, and I really, really enjoyed that about this film. A lot of it has to do with Shaka King's, um, 
cinematography and the way that the film was shot and executed. Um, it's fantastic. It's a beautiful film to watch. I think there's a lot of really great shots in here that we will remember for a long time. That all, all has to do with Shaka King and the, and the director of photography and, and all of them. Bravo. It was really, really well done. Uh, and, and the next thing is, is the way that this film builds tension. Um, I gotta give credit to the writing for that because I know some people have some issues with the writing and, and they're, they're valid. I can see where they're coming from. Um, the thing I really liked in this film was the, the, the whole, you know, theme, not theme, but you know, the whole feeling of tension throughout. You never knew what was going to happen. And I love that about like undercover cop type stories. You never know what someone else knows and are they in danger is something going to happen and we see that a lot with Lakeith's character is like you know because he's undercover for the FBI well, did just someone know is he about to get off like is something going to happen um and I, I I really liked that all throughout the film and it's also the tension of uh Kaluuya Fred Hampton um you know reconsidering not really reconsidering but like you know, thinking about life and thinking about you know, hey, I'm 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 you know, gonna be a father. I'm gonna be, you know, I want to have I want to have a future. I want to have a family. Um, and is this revolution worth that? Um, and that's a thing that I didn't think we would analyze in this film was the whole, you know, not is the revolution worth it, but is is wanting to be a martyr worth it? Um, and there's some conversations between Kaluuya and his his co co actress who who they play you know their relationship. Um, and there's some conversations in this film about this very topic, and they're very powerful because it's not something that I think Fred Hampton had ever thought about. It's not something that I had thought about going into this film. You know, you see these characters in history, but they're also human beings with families and friends and people they care about and you never think about the you know you can get up on a podium and say i will die for this i want to be a martyr for this but you don't ever think about the fact that you know they also have people they have to care for and protect and you know what is the price um and i found that part very powerful and surprising because i didn't expect them to dive into something like that um, the last major thing I really like here is that, you know, it's a very political film. There's a lot of there's a lot of themes that resonate in this film that are still relevant today. Um, this was like set in the 60s and we're in 2021 and some of these themes are still around. I don't ask me, um, but I think it tackled it in a very mature way that wasn't shoving anything in your face, but it was also evident what they were trying to say. Um, and I really liked that because it's a very polarizing movie. There are things that happen in this movie that will punch you in the gut and make you sick. And, you know, you gotta think like, who are the good guys in this movie? You know, are, is it the Black Panthers, the FBI? I mean, that's what they try to play with you on. Now, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you who is and is not. That's not my place to say, but that's what the film tries to, it pulls back and forth on that kind of, that, that, that thread. And it made me think, and that's, that's something that I really liked about this film is not, it's not just for that though. It's for all of it. Like the, the film made me think about, you know, you see these people in history and you don't think about the feelings and the emotions and the thoughts that they're having, you know, they're human beings. And, th and that's something that I think really came through here. And I really respected that with the writing and directing and performances all, you know, really showed that these people are humans too. They're not just people we see on our, the pages of our history books. And I respect that. And I, I really like that. And this film is just really, it, it's really well done on a technical level. And like I said, the performances, I mean, Daniel Kaluuya, it's got to be his time. It has to be. I mean, I, there's no. He's been so good in all the films that he's been in, and this has to be the time. It has to be. Um, so we're gonna hop into the point breakdown. That's pretty much all I gotta say about the film. So the entertainment, 22 out of 25. I mean, it's kind of like mass, where it's a very uncomfortable topic. So it's it's like I wasn't like enjoying it, 
but I did like, you know, I like the film, if you know what I mean. Performance is 20 out of 20, direction 10 out of 10, writing 8 out of 10, like I said, some of the pacing stuff, you know, whatever. Um, emotions, 9 out of 10, cinematography, 10 out of 10, uh, pacing, 5 out of 5. Now, I gave it 5 out of 5 for pacing because when it got going, it got going well. I will attribute the pacing issues to the writing. That's why I took two points off of writing. I didn't take any points off of pacing. So, just just to clear that up. Rewatchability, 5 out of 5, and an automatic 5 out of 5. That means I gave Judas and the Black Messiah a 94 out of 100. One of the best movies I've seen this year. Um, I've only given one movie so far this year, 5 out of 5 stars. And, uh, you know, we're still in January, so... Or no, we're in February now. We're at the beginning of February, so that, that could change real quick. Um... But it was a really good one. It comes out in a few weeks. I think it's one that everyone should see at least once. I'll definitely watch it again. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, and it's a fantastic movie. I really recommend it. Um, but let me know down below in the comments if you've seen it. What do you think? Um, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Uh, the, the festival may be over, but I am not done with working. I am doing immediate reviews after every 2021 new release I see. Um, I'm doing... Go check out my blog. Just because I'm not doing recaps anymore does not mean I'm not posting content. So make sure you go check out the blog, Fanatic Film Reviews. That's all down below in the description. Um, and I got some fun things planned. I'm not going to tell you what yet, but there may be another festival in the future. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, wink, wink, hint, hint. Um, but until then... You know, thank you for coming out and checking out the Sundance content. I'm not done with Sundance content. I got videos coming out for the rest of the week, pretty much, um, with Sundance. So there's more coming. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next video.